Hey everybody, welcome back to Champ and Sons and our NCAA 24 Coaching Dynasty here with UTEP as we are in the midst of a kind of an up and down season. Last episode we you know, had a loss to Memphis to start out but came back with a pretty closely fought win against SMU. Um, we're sticking today to getting this episode started off against another team from Texas, from Denton, the North Texas Mean Green, so we'll have to see how this one goes. So welcome everybody to the channel if you're new here, and welcome back if you are joining us again. It has been a hell of a ride, and in this big time matchup, we've got a four-star prospect quarterback, Scott Berry. Um, he is visiting along with another quarterback, James Sims. Uh, who's a three-star and an offensive lineman. So some pretty talented guys that we're looking to kind of establish ourselves in the recruiting, knowing we're not going to get the same monsters that, you know, Texas and all them pulled out. But if we can start to get some talent and put together some winning seasons, who knows what we can turn this program into. So let's go ahead and start this game off here against North Texas on the option carry by Holstein, picking up three yards to make it a second and seven. This is our opening drive here as we are still at our own 41 yard line, eight minutes to go in the first quarter. This is billed to be a pretty tough matchup, but we are the number 24 team in the country. So we gotta see how we can play this thing out. On second and seven, Holstein play action, drops back, fires to the left side. He tries to go for Ballard and that one falls incomplete. That was a tough throw to make, but also that was a tough defensive play to make. Both. Uh, and turns out defense ended up winning, so happens at times. That's going to leave us here now with a third and seven. Holstein in the shotgun, has the snap. Mean Green bring a blitz. He stands in the pocket, fires it over. He's got Jamari White down the right sideline at the 30. Pushing forward and brought down at the 25-yard line. A 34-yard reception on that one. Dropped that pass in beautifully over a linebacker, and it looks like a safety. And that one, he hits Amari White on the run. And that picks up big time yardage down to the 25 yard line, trying to get started off with some points here on this opening drive. First and 10, Holstein has the snap. Stands in the pocket, fires it off to Burgess coming out of the backfield and he picks up only about three yards on that one. Pretty good coverage down the field. Nowhere else for him to go really. So second and seven. Now at, our, at the 22 yard line here on our opening drive, Trying to get this thing pushed across. Holstein's going to be in a pistol formation. Three wide set. Hands off to Burgess up the middle. He's got a hole open when Burgess is finally brought down after a gain of seven. They're not going to give him the first down, though. They're going to say it's going to be slightly short. And so that's going to make it third and inches after what really amounted to a six-yard, two-feet, and 11-inch carry. So third and inches here going back to the shotgun formation. Four wide. Holstein has a snap. Play action. In the pocket, pressure comes as he threw that one at the last second, avoiding the sack. So in a fourth and inches here at home, we are going to go for it. And that's the good thing about getting that ball, getting rid of that ball and avoiding that sack is that we still have this as an option. So fourth and inches, we're going from the pistol formation. It's going to be a handoff to Burgess up the middle. He's got a big hole open and brought down after a gain of seven yards. And that's going to get us in a goal to go. Burgess got 24 yards on three carries to start off this Saturday afternoon. So here at the eight-yard line facing a first and goal. Here comes our offense to the line. Holstein is going to be under center. Two tight ends in an eye formation. Both tight ends to the right. Has the snap. Stands in a pocket. Rolls out to his right side and throws that one away. It looked like he kind of rolled out before the pocket really started to break down. But, hey, he did... He ended up escaping at least and was able to get rid of that one. So second and goal now. Holstein going to be in a shotgun formation, going four wide this time. Has the snap. It's going to be an option keeper. Holstein cuts up the middle and is almost brought down behind the line, but squirms free to make four yards out of that carry. That was a dangerous one. Misread the option right there. And that's going to make it third and goal now. Three yards away from Pater. Holstein going to be in a shotgun. Three wide. Two back set. Has the snap. Quick throw over the middle. He hits Mr. Chavis for the touchdown. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. What a throw by Holstein to hit him on the run in the actual opening. I mean, good thing that it looked like the linebackers kind of opened up some. But, hey, it is what it is. So now here comes the mean green. 
Johnson at quarterback, if I'm not mistaken, we actually did recruit him while we were there just a few seasons ago. He drops off that pass to Brown. That's going to go for no yard as no yards as Brown had to come back to the ball to make that catch. And that's going to make it second and ten. The Mean Green are on the move at the 39-yard line on the uh, Miners' side of the field. So second and ten. Mean Green in a shotgun. Looks like four wide set. Johnson has the snap. Hands it off to Johnson. He breaks free. He's got space down the right side. He's down at the 20. Finally chased down at the about 15-yard line on a 24-yard carry by Johnson, the Mean Green running back. As he broke a tackle in the backfield, what should have been a three-yard loss becomes a 24-yard gain down to the 15. So three and a half minutes remaining here in the first quarter. We still lead 7 to nothing, but Mean Green are knocking from the shotgun formation now. Johnson has the snap, hands it off to Johnson up the middle and breaks free from one tackle, but not the other. Johnson and Johnson is probably going to be a combo we're going to be calling a lot today. I have a feeling with the way this Mean Green run offense works. So it's second and six after that four yard gain. Now they're going to come out in a pistol formation. Three wide set. They have the snap. Johnson drops back, fires it over, hits Salas on the right side who's pushed out of bounds. Sean Salas, their tight end, picks up five yards on that one. And that's going to make it third and one at the seven. So trying to just bend but not break. We have a stand right here that we need. Third and one. Mean Green in a shotgun. Four wide set. Has the snap. We bring a blitz. Johnson fires it out to the left side. He hits his running back who pushes forward to pick up the two yards. We almost had him behind the line. We almost had him, but he pick, he forces his way forward. Gets the two yards and the first and goal now from the five. Mean Green being very methodical moving down the field as they come out in a power eye formation. As they have the snap. Johnson hands off to Gums on the right side. Big hole opening. Varkey's Gums runs right through. We've seen him do that before while we were there. Like I said, a few years ago, that's how we got our career start, uh, being the offensive coordinator for the Mean Green. So after we're forced to punt back and forth a couple times, we find ourselves here in the second quarter, the Mean Green with possession in a tie ball game, 7-7. Seven to seven. As Johnson fires it over the middle, he hits Aaron Anderson for six yards on that one. And Johnson is 7-8 of eight for 57 yards. Not a whole lot of incompletions <laughs> is he throwing. So second and four now. As the Mean Green come out in a pistol formation, three wide set. Johnson has a snap. Clean pocket, fires it over, hits McMillan coming across the field. Zagilil McMillan <laughs> comes running across on the base of the little end pattern, makes the catch wide open, and picks up the good yardage for the first down. So they are at the 24-yard line on our side of the field, first and 10. Mean Green in the shotgun. Johnson has the snap. Stands in the pocket. Pressure comes, but he fires it over, and he hits Brown. Oh, DeTravian Brown coming across the field. Johnson in the last second got rid of that one. He almost hung on just too late, but no, he got rid of it just in the nick of time. Second and four now. That's going to bring us out here in a four-wide formation as we're making changes on the defensive side. Hand it off to Johnson. At the middle, he had a hole open. Thought we had them going if they were on the pass, but they ran it right up the middle to counter our blitz, and they pick up the first and ten. So once again, they are trying to force their way in from the 14-yard line now. First and ten from the pistol formation. Four wide set. Has the snap. Hands it off to Johnson going to the right side. Big hole open. Johnson's going to walk that one in untouched. Oh, 14 yards out, Isaiah Johnson. We couldn't even smit, we couldn't even sniff a fart as he ran past us. We were so far away, and that's going to put us down 14 to seven. But hey, as the way football works out, we get another shot at it. Now with the ball in our hands at the 50, Holstein keeps it on an option carry, and he pushes forward, lowering his shoulder. He picks up 12 yards and a first down. From first and 10 to first and 10. Now at the 38 yard line on the plus side of the field here. Looking to try to get this defense spread out so we can find some space. It has been a struggle since our opening touchdown. Holstein now going to be in the shotgun. Sends Chavis in motion. Fires it over to him. He's got some space in front of him. Chavis down the right side and pushed out at the 30 yard line. A little swing pass. He picks up eight yards on that one. Almost caught behind the line really, but just pure speed helped him get away right there. So second and two now after that eight-yard gain. Just under six minutes remaining here in the second quarter. We trail 14-7. to 
Holstein from the pistol. Has the snap. Hands it off to Burgess at the middle. A little hole opens up and he, squir he squirms through and picks up six yards on that one. 38 yards on his fifth carry of the day. Might want to look to try to get him the ball a little bit more as he is averaging over seven yards per carry. First and ten now. We're going to be in a shotgun. Three wide set. Holstein hands it off to Burgess. Going to the right side. Big hole open. Tries to make a move, but it's brought down after a game of seven. Well, there you go. We set it. We did it. And it was pretty successful. Seven yards. Now we're inside the red zone at the 17, facing a second and three. So here we come. Second and three. Shotgun formation. Three wide set. Two receivers to the right. Holstein has the snap. Fires it over. He hits Chavis coming across the field. Who's going to fumble it? Chavis fumbles. And the mean green recover. Oh, he got walloped on that one, and he's not known for fumbling. He normally has good enough hands to not let that one go. But Leota comes flying through, puts a, puts, lays the lumber, essentially. And he fumbles that one, so now the Mean Green take over at their own 15. First and 10. They send their tight end in motion out to the slot left. Johnson has a snap. Play action. Fires it over. It's going to be intercepted by Burris. We snag it right back. Come right back at him and brought down at about the 14-yard line. It's becoming a turnover fest here these last two plays, each resulting in one turnover for each team. And so after that interception, we have some life once again. First and 10. Not sure if we want to hit Chavis, but he's not even in on this pistol formation. Holstein has a snap. Quick blitz. They drop it off to Smith. Pushing forward. And Jeff Smith, not normally seen, our backup tight end. He makes the catch right there. Settled down in that zone. Makes the catch. Picks up nine and a half yards, basically, to leave us with the second and inches from about the four and a half yard line. Coming out in a pistol formation. Holstein has the snap. Hands out to Burgess. Big hole open. Burgess walks it in. Touchdown, UTEP. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. And that one is going to get this game tied up here late in the second quarter. Now, we did have to give up a big play touchdown. So now we find ourselves trailing once again here as we come to the end of the first half. 21 to 14, a minute and a half remaining, but we've got time as we hit Ballard over the middle for a decent game. As we are going to go, hurry up. We have two timeouts remaining, a minute 38. You've got to remember the delayed clock with a first down. As we make changes at the line, Holstein, good being in a shotgun. Four wide set, three receivers to the right. Has the snap in the pocket, fires it over the middle. He's got Ballard wide open again. And Jeremiah Ballard makes a 28-yard reception. That's his fourth catch of the day for 61 yards this afternoon. He dropped that one in beautifully. Found him wide open on that one. I can't believe they let Ballard go. So now it's first and 10, a minute, just over a minute remaining. Holstein in the shotgun still has the snap. They bring a blitz, fires that one over, and it's knocked away. We hit C Selb coming across the field. The defender was right there and made the play and knocked that one down to make it second and 10 now from the 27-yard line. So a minute five remaining. Holstein is going to be in a shotgun formation. Three wide set. Has the snap. Stands in the pocket. Rolls out to his right. Nowhere to go with it. He tries to take off, but he gets hit and goes out of bounds with it. Just try to pick up a couple yards. That's going to make it third and eight now. As we come to the line set, just under 30 seconds remaining. Holstein, shotgun, four wide. Looking for somewhere to go with it. Has the snap, standing in a clean pocket. They only bring three. He throws it over, hits Richardson, but it gets knocked away from him. He gets knocked out of his hand. Richardson could not hold on to it, and that's going to bring us to a fourth and eight. So we are going to have to try the field goal opportunity from about 33 yards out. As we get this one lined up, Jones boot ball down the middle, and that's going to put three points on the board here for UTEP. As it's been a struggle, we've given up too many big plays on defense. I know we didn't see that one, but it happens. Some things got to get cut for editing. So, it is what it is. And that is actually going to take us into the halftime, trailing 21-17. to 17. The number 24 team in the country, trailing to a North Texas squad that has struggled since we left uh, their offensive coordinator position as they are having a losing season right now. But they're about to put up a major upset. If they hold on, we have to start playing more effectively. We can't be fumbling the ball, turning it over, things that, I mean... 
it, anytime you stop a drive to, from getting points, that becomes a problem. It's great we got the interception that followed that fumble, but we should have scored a touchdown, then got the interception, then scored another touchdown, and the roles would probably be reversed, and we'd have the lead here at halftime. Uh, so we got, we got, we just got to step up our game, play a little bit better. Right now, we seem to at times play down to the teams that are coming instead of playing up to our level, or at least what we see as potentially our level with the way we started out the season against big time wins against Northwestern, Washington, TCU. You know, those are not small programs. We played up to that level. Now we're playing to some of our smaller conference programs like North Texas, and it seems like we're playing down to the competition. So we will have to change that going into the second half here. And we're going to jump into the middle of the third quarter. North Texas put up a touchdown on their opening drive. So here we are trying to fight back, trailing by 11. Holstein rolls out to his right, fires that one late as it falls incomplete. We had been moving the ball pretty decently there, but got to the 31-yard line and then just threw that incompletion. So that's going to make it second and 10. Holstein being in a pistol formation, three wide set. As the snap, it's going to be an option keeper. Holstein to the right side. Stiff Army pushing forward. Not wanting to be denied the yardage, Holstein picks up four yards, 39 yards on basically his ninth carry so far today. Um, he's having to run a little too much for my liking, to be honest with you. So third and six now. Holstein in the shotgun, drops back, fires it over, hits Chavis, and he holds on to it and is brought down at the 11-yard line. What a play right there. Holstein saw him right as that linebacker went in with the crossing pattern. Just a couple steps is all that was needed. And Holstein put on a laser pass to hit him coming across the field. And that was beautifully enough to get, to get him open up. So first and 10 now inside the red zone. Hand that one off to Burgess off right guard. And that's going to be picked up for about two yards on that carry. 52 yards on eight carries. Just at about six and a half yards per carry for that young man. So second and eight now from the 10-yard line. We trail by 11, North Texas 28, UTEP 17. Holstein is going to be in a shotgun formation. Three wide set, has a snap. They bring a blitz, fires it over to Chavis once again. And I know he fumbled in the first half, but he's been one of our best all season. One of our most reliable, got to keep going with him. And he holds on to that one, making it third and one now from about the three-yard line. As we come set to the line in a pistol formation, Holstein hands that one off to Burgess up the middle, lowers his shoulder, picks up only two yards. He didn't get into the end zone. It was driven back once he got to the one, but hey, he got enough for the first down, and that's what matters. First and goal now, three feet away from really trying to get ourselves back in this game and making it a one-score ball game. So this is a delicate play we have to pick. First and goal. UTEP comes set to the line in a pistol formation. Three wide set. Holstein looks over the defense. No changes. Has a snap. Hands it off to Burgess, who walks it in untouched. Touchdown, UTEP. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Burgess crosses the end zone line once again. And following that, inter or following that touchdown, here comes the Mean Green. They are on an unstoppable drive. Our defense is struggling. And this is, we find ourselves backed up with a first and goal as Johnson picks up two yards on that rush, making it second and goal now from the seven. We have just been unable to – they've just been scoring consistently. And I, it's one of these, I don't know what we got to do to get the stop, but whatever it is, we need to find it out quickly as this third quarter is getting set to come to a close in 10 seconds. Johnson has the snap. They drop off a screen pass, and we brought the blitz. We get out to the edge enough, swarm them down, and bring them down. After a gain of about two yards, basically, and the clock will run out into the fourth quarter. As that leaves us here trailing by four. As it was 21 to you know, 17, we each put up a touchdown, but Mean Green are trying to put up another one. We have to make a stand, and we have to make it now. Mean Green in a shotgun for pistol formation. Has a snap. Johnson drops back. Pressure comes. Throws it out to the right. It's going to be intercepted by Burris. He jumped up in front of that one, and he's off to the races. He's going. No one's going to get him. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. Take it on home, son. 10-yard line. Touchdown, UTEP. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. About a 95-yard pick six on that one. What a play. Burris jumping that route, dropping back into that zone. 
And I guess Johnson just didn't see him lurking there. And as soon as that pass was thrown, he cut that route off, snagged it, and was off in, taking it the other way, and takes it in to give us our first lead of the day. Now, our defense finally made a stop. So here comes our offense back out to try to seal the deal here if we can. Third and 10, find Ballard down the left side. He gets brought down at the 14 yard line after a 25 yard gain. His first catch really of the second half finds himself kind of limited since uh, that halftime drive. So now we're at the 15, five, just over five and a half minutes remaining in this ball game. We lead by three, 31, 28, thanks to the pick six. Now we hand that one off to Burgess and he picks up only about a yard on that rush. Blocking really wasn't there. Burgess 56 yards on, on 11 carries. Now he's got two touchdowns up. So once we get him close enough, he'll get it into the end zone. That's just trying to get him there. The Mean Green are kind of starting to swarm this running game. So second and nine from the pistol. Holstein has the snap. Mean Green bring a blitz. Fires it over and he's going to throw an interception. Holstein didn't see Welch sitting right there. Thought he could drop it in over top of him. And I... I don't know what he was thinking. And that is going to be intercepted by the Mean Green. So here they come right back at us now. Five minutes remaining here in the fourth. Johnson has the snap in the pocket. Pressure comes and he finally got rid of it. Everybody's pretty well covered up on that one. And he seems maybe a little bit gun shy after throwing that pick six. So find themselves with a second and 10. We need, an, need to make a stop here. Under five minutes to play in this ball game. Mean Green in the shotgun. They send Johnson in motion. They have the snap. Fired over to the right side and he overthrows it. Saw that linebacker coming and got nervous of the route being cut off again. And Johnson kind of sails it over his running back there. And that's, that's a good sign for us, but they here comes a third down. The Mean Green are 11 of 13 on third downs this afternoon. So third and 10 has the snap. Drop back. They're going for the screen. He's gathered up. McIver Brown brings down Johnson for a four-yard loss. What a play call. We brought the blitz, so it made him nervous. And then we bring him down handily behind the line. Great play by McIver Brown. So that would force him to punt the ball away. And so here we come with another opportunity to shut this thing down as we find Amari White coming across the field once again. And he's brought down at about the six yard line after gaining 22 yards right there. So two minute, two and a half minutes remaining in this one. We just hit the 250 yard mark. I don't think we're gonna hit the 300 yard goal like our quarterbacks wanted, but hey, a win is definitely better than losing in front of a recruit. So just over two minutes to go in the pistol formation. Holston, quick throw, he hits Selb. He makes the catch. Touchdown, UTEP. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Didn't expect him to throw it that quickly, but, man, he fired that thing out of there. As soon as he saw he was open, he threw it. And smart play by our tight end to turn his head when he got to the line, to the goal line. And he's able to make that catch, and that's going to be all we would need to seal the deal in this game. It was a hard-fought game. We trailed pretty much for most of it till the pick six came in the fourth quarter, you know, right there at the start. And once that happened, it seemed like our defense kind of shaped up some and was able to start getting a couple stops here or there. Uh, so it's good to see us be able to fight through these tough kind of games. But at the same time, North Texas is a team we should have beat a lot more handily than what we did. So, it, it you know, take it with a grain of salt, right? It be happy we won but not in the way that we won so you know hey 24 number 24 in the country we have two losses on the season um yeah it it's gonna be an interesting interesting remainder of the season i'll say the least to see how this conference shapes up right and the worst now the worst part is our two losses are two conference opponents so we have two conference losses and i I'm not sure what our shot is at a conference championship game, but if we play solidly and things work out for us, um, we have a good chance of it. Now here's one big little Titan. I said big little Titan standing in our way, and that is gonna be Tulane. 
Now, in this game, Tulane has been pretty much undefeated the last couple seasons. They lose one game here or there right at the end of the season, so hopefully this is going to be that one as they are undefeated once again. They are the number two team in the nation. We are still number 24. We are in their house. It is a rainy Saturday afternoon here in Louisiana. And so here we come out starting with the ball here, second and five. On our opening possession, Holstein has the snap, fires it over. He itself coming across the field, stiff arming his way forward to the, down to the 25-yard line. He picks up eight yards on that reception, his first catch of the afternoon. So now that we're at the 25-yard line, we have a first and 10 as Holstein comes out in the pistol formation, three wide set. Sends Burgess in motion. Holstein has the snap, blitz comes, fires it over the middle. That one's going to be knocked down. Holstein's not seeing his targets all that well. It looks like he had a couple different guys that were more open than that. And that was a pretty risky pass. And after the uh, interception he threw late in the game against North Texas last week, and you're hoping that maybe he had learned a little bit, but not so much. So second and 10 now. Holstein's going to be in a shotgun, full wide set. Hands it out to Burgess going to the left side. Has a hole open right between the guard and tackle, and he picks up five yards. Torrance Burgess with a good run right there. Last week he had his fewest yards of any game all season. This week right now he's got 11 yards on three carries. Um, so almost four yards per carry. Definitely need to let him be a little bit more of a focus. Now on third and five, Holstein has the snap. Drops back, has a screen pass to the left side. No one's going to touch him. Burgess takes it in. Touchdown, UTEP. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. As we snag the early lead against number two, Tulane Green Wave here on the road with that screen pass. And no one was in front of them. And thankfully for their own safety, nobody was in front of them as our lineman had kind of had his steam going. Uh, but Burgess gets there into the end zone for the lead. Now leading 7 to nothing. here come the Green Wave as they hand that one off. And he's going to be stopped by Williamson Spears for a get stopped by Williamson for a three yard loss. All the blockers held up. He came flying through once he read the run and made it, made the tackle. It was a great play by our linebacker there. So second and 13, the green wave in a shotgun formation. As they send a man in motion. And they have the snap. Ibieta has it, drops back. He has a screen pass of his own to the right side. He goes forward and picks up seven yards. Spears finally brought down by Williamson, number two, uh, coming out of the safety spot this time. He had some space open, though, and he just took a wallop. Tried to stiff arm his way forward, but, man, there's no stiff arm in a Mack truck as he gets pushed down to the turf, so making it third and six. Ibieta in a shotgun formation has the snap. Blitz comes. He drops a pass off incomplete. Looked like he was just throwing that one away. And that would lead to a field goal by Tulane. So we're going to move on ahead here into the second quarter. Tulane trailing 7-3, to three, but not for long as Ibieta takes off on the option. Keeper down to the left side, and he's dragged down by his ankle. Both offenses have really kind of struggled this game. And I think the weather has had a lot more to do with it, but defenses are actually playing pretty damn well. Uh, and so that's, you know, that, that's played a part of it but we definitely need to kind of uh, step it up some, I think. It's 7-3 to three right now. We need to get some points. We need to get a turnover on defense and try to get this game, you know, in a little bit more of a better position. Now, I'd be at hands out off to Spears, wide open over the middle, and Spears picks up 12 yards. Talk about playing better. And we open up a hole up the middle of that line, like basically the size of the Grand Canyon. And that's going to make it first and goal now for the two lane as they come set to the line in a pistol formation. Three wide set. H back in there. As they hand that one off to Spears going to the right side, and he's just going to lower his shoulder and picks up the one yard for the touchdown. And Spears and two lane have regained the lead here in this one. So now we find ourselves coming right back at him a little later in the second. Four minutes and about 15 seconds remaining here in the second. As Holstein hands that one off to Burgess up the middle, cuts it back over to the right side and picks up six yards. Torrance Burgess, 35 yards on six carries today. That's making it second and four. And now that I see these stats, it's kind of a little nerve-wracking that we're moving away from the run 
in the way that we have. We need to keep trying to make it a focus. As on second and four, we do an option keeper, and Caleb Holstein, our quarterback, gets drilled uh, for a one-yard loss. I mean, they played that one perfectly. I, that's not a bad read. It's just a great play by the defense. So third and five now. We are three or five on third down so far today. Holstein going to be in a shotgun. Has the snap in the pocket. Drops out to Burgess in the right flat. He takes it moving forward and picks up about eight yards, nine yards on that one. And that's going to be a first and ten. So we do have a brand new set of downs at the 12-yard line here. As we come set, going to be in a shotgun formation. Five wide. Holstein's all by his lonesome in the backfield. Has the snap. Throws it deep down to the right side. It's going to be caught. No, they're saying he was out of bounds. Oh, he went to the tougher throw. As we see it, we had was a Chavis open right over the middle. But he went for Amari White and just couldn't keep his foot down. Now it's second and ten, which we hand that one off to Burgess. Makes a shifty little move as he picks up seven yards on that run right off left guard to make it third and three here. As we are going to let the clock run down. We are at under two minutes to go in this uh, second quarter, but no point in stopping it if we don't have to. Third and three, Holstein in a shotgun. Three wide set, has the snap in the pocket. Fires that one over the middle. I don't know where he was throwing it to. That's a dangerous pass You're trying to throw it back across your body as it falls incomplete, and that's going to lead us here to about a simple 22-yard field goal. Jones boot ball right down the middle, and this game is now tied here in the second quarter, 10-10, to -10, and that's how it would remain for that first half as we find ourselves going to halftime tied with the number two team in the country, going blow for blow with them, which is a positive sign for where our team is at, but we need... We've had our opportunities. We just haven't executed, right? I mean, that's been the biggest thing. We just have not executed. And Tulane has taken advantage. You know, they've gotten some sacks. Uh, and obviously, right as you're seeing that one come through, they did get an interception that led to a score earlier. So and it's one of these things that we've... It, ex, it all basically comes down to our execution. If we execute well, we'll be able to handle just about anything that any team can throw us. So here comes Tulane on their opening drive, facing a third and eight. Ibietta steps up. He finds Livingston all by his lonesome down the left side. And Livingston's finally brought down at the five-yard line. It looked like Ibietta had stepped beyond the line to gain or line of scrimmage. But instead, I guess they said he kept one part of his body behind it. And that's going to be enough to allow him to complete that pass down to the five. So game, this game is still tied at 10, under seven minutes to go in the third, but maybe not for long. Tulane has a snap, hands it off to John Spears up the middle, and he powers his way forward. We hit him behind the line, but you got to do more to bring Spears down. You really got to hit him in the leg. He set the record with 44 Tulane, 44 touchdowns over his career at Tulane on the ground. He's not an easy man to stop. Now first and ten for our response. We hit Selb coming across the middle. He may, picks up a nine-yard reception right there. Second and one now. As we come out in our, what's going to be, looks like a pistol form. Nope, shotgun formation, four wide set. Holstein has the snap, stands in the pocket, fires it quickly over to the middle to Ballard as he makes the catch for eight yards. Jeremiah Ballard only his fourth catch of the afternoon. And in these rainy conditions, it is hard to get him the ball. I get it, but we still have to try to do it. I don't want to force throws, but we got to get him in better situations. So now it's first and goal here from the nine-yard line. Holstein in a shotgun. Four wide. Play action. Fires it over. He hits Mr. Chavis, who walks it in untouched. This game is going to be tied once again. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Beautiful play action. Got the linebacker movement just enough, and that freed everything up for Chavis to be wide open and to walk it in. Now, after some stalemates going back and forth, we find ourselves here at four minutes in the fourth quarter with Tulane having possession, handing it off to Williams, going to the left side. And he urges Spears, and Williamson's going to bring him down for a two-yard loss. Another tackle for loss for this linebacker who's playing absolutely outstanding. That's going to make it second and 12. Now, from about the 41 and a half yard line here, Tulane in the shotgun formation. Game is still tied at 17. 
as they had the snap. Quick throw on the little swing pass, and he makes the catch. Presley does, picks up only about four yards on that one. Well played uh, to get at least some positive yardage out of it. So that's third and eight now from the 36. They are on our side of the field here, three and a half minutes remaining. Tulane in a shotgun formation, has the snap. Stands in the pocket, fires over to Presley, breaks one tackle, and kept pushing forward. And so that's going to make it fourth and one. He should have been brought down about two or three yards earlier, but he's not, and that's going to lead to a field goal opportunity. So for about 47 yards, uh, it's a fourth and one here as the clock does tick down. And Tulane actually finally moves. They had a false start. They were trying to, I guess, run the clock out to leave as little time as possible. Still fourth down. But that puts them in an even more precarious position because they're going to now try to kick a field goal that's going to be essentially 53 yards in the rain on a fourth and six. That's not what you want to do. But maybe we can make something of it. The ball is going to be up, and it's going to be way short to the right, folks. Had it. He was waiting back there. He takes it out to the 20. Cuts it back up the middle at the 30. Pushing forward still and brought down at about the 33-yard line. Good return on that one. Memphis, who beat us earlier this season, they're number 25 in the country. They escaped, They beat Tulsa 35-28 as they are still on the climb. Memphis playing a pretty decent season, 8-1 and one so far. So now, after we did try to return that kick, but we were forced to punt as Tulane has the ball back once again, and he finds himself loose down the sideline here. He's at the 25-20. Broussard chases him down and finally tackles him at the 12-yard line. You've got to be kidding me. As that makes it first and 10 now from the 11. Ibieta in a shotgun formation. Tulane. Has a snap, hands it off to Spears up the middle. He's got a wide hole open, and Johnson finally brings him down. Coming from the corner spot, come all the way into the mid middle of the field to bring him down as we use our first time out of the day. So second and four now for the Green Wave as they send Brown in motion from right to left. Ibieta hands off to Spears. He's got a hole open, and he cuts it forward, and Spears gets in for the touchdown. Once again, and now Tulane has got the lead. So not an envious position we want to be in, trailing by a touchdown with one minute left on a rainy New Orleans field. Holstein has the snap. First and 10, nowhere to go with it. Fires it out to the left, just kind of throwing it away. And the coverage was there. He had nowhere to get rid of that ball to. And he couldn't bail out and run it himself because, once again, everybody's closing in on him. Nowhere to go. So we have it at our own 36-yard line, trailing by seven, 58 seconds remaining, facing a second and 10. Holstein, going to be in the shotgun, has the snap. Stands in, fires it to the left side, going for White. He had looked like Chavis over the middle. I thought that's who he was going to throw it to. But no, he went for the deeper option, and that one gets knocked down to make it third and 10. Oh, poor decision-making there by Holstein. And he's going to come out in the pit, pistol formation. Holstein has it, fires it to the right side. That one's knocked away, looking for White once again. A 50-50 ball that White normally comes down with, unable to do so right there. So trying to avoid our third loss of the season and keep ourselves fighting for a conference title spot. Holstein on a fourth and ten, drops back, fires that one deep to the right side. It's going to be knocked away and intercepted by Kennedy. Coming right back at him. He's still running, and finally we push him out. Our fourth turnover of the day. We threw the interceptions, that final one. And I mean, it's I guess with the four turnovers, it's amazing we stayed in it as long as we did. Kudos to our defense uh, for that. Kept the number two team to 24 points. That is going to be our third conference loss. That will knock us out of any conference championship opportunities. Um, that's just a damn shame in all reality. That's all that is. Poorly executed, poorly played in a poor weather game. So, hey, while I am thinking about it, though, the season is not over. We got time to make a splash and do some things as we get to bowl season. Um, so remember to hit that subscribe button if you have not hit it already. Definitely give us a thumbs up. If you like the video, if you can't wait for the new NCAA game like me, I've already pre-ordered it. 
Uh, or at least tried to pre-order it. I've got to check to make sure everything went through because I got an error message at one point. So I'll check it again. Either way, trying to get that thing pre-ordered so we can uh, get the new NCAA game going. I'm pretty sure I'll probably just continue the UTEP dynasty. I got. I want to see how the coaching carousel is going to come out in that one uh, beforehand. But definitely give us a thumbs up if you're excited about all that. Hit that little bell icon to be notified of all the Champ and Sons content that we do upload here. We've got our first college baseball, college World Series baseball uh, episode in editing right now. So that will be coming up pretty soon. So definitely hold on for that one. Six and three on the season. Number 25 now in the nation. A lot of things happening, so stay tuned for it, and I'll see y'all in the next episode, everybody. So as always, stay safe, and well, y'all know how it goes from here, right? Later, y'all.